In this video I'm going to show you how to declare a constant and how to use it in your program. Okay, so you can declare a constant under the var either globally or locally. I'm going to make my price constant name is price and I'm going to give it a constant value it's a value that's not going to change. So I'm going to make it price and the price is going to be 15. The user is going to enter the amount of pizzas or items that he wants to buy and when he clicks on the button it's going to uh, take the price, multiply it with the spin edit value and give me the output in the label at the bottom here. Let's make this one buy. So I already declared my constant. The name is price. Value is 15. So Delphi will assume that it's an integer. If you make it 15.1, Delphi will assume that it's a real variable. If you make it a character or a string, Delphi will assume the data type depending on the input or depending on the input you're giving Delphi here. Okay, so under the button buy, I'm going to say, let's make a variable here, iTotal. So I'm going to say iTotal is equals to the constant price times the spin edit value spin edit 100 value and then I'm going to use the i total and I'm going to display that in the caption of the label everything that we are displaying is always string so I need to convert this integer to a string Ninety to this the R. Let's say choose two. Click on buy. It's going to take the spin edit value times the price that I set over there, and then it will display the thirteen the label in the bottom. Yeah, like I said, if you want to declare a constant, you can either put it under the var globally or you can put it under the var locally. Um, if you set it like I did here, it will pick it up as, Delphi will pick it up as an integer or we'll, we'll assume that, it, that it's an integer. If you make something like a word in single quotation marks, it will uh, assume that it's a string. If you have decimal values, it will assume that it's a real data type. My situation, it's an integer, so I just multiply the two of each other and then I can display the output.